sound of my docile Irish tones. Well, uh, is that better? No. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> I think we've covered everything really on the podcast. <laughs> Do you have any questions for me? Um, no, I think um, I, what I was saying to you... You know next week's lottery numbers. Uh, oh, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to split the winnings, Tony. <laughs> oh, I thought you were a very loving person. No. <laughs> no. 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 Not anymore, okay. it seems. No. I'm a grumpy, I'm getting old and grumpy and conservative oh, probably. I seem to be turning conservative. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Are you really? No, that's no, but grumpy definitely. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was I going to say to you? I don't know, but uh, so this is it, is how you start all your meetings. Not really. I okay. start in all sorts of different ways. Okay. But anyway, this isn't it, really. There isn't an it. It yeah. is. We're, See, we're into the great unknowing. Yeah. You know, the idea that this is it sort of makes it sound like something yeah. um, that's real. Ah, so I've got, all I've got to do now is walk around and think this is it all the time. Yeah. And that's, again, that's misleading. Anything you say about this is misleading. Mm. And so that's probably why you said when we started, whatever this now, that in the last time, you said, whatever this now is bullshit. Yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely. Whatever is said just doesn't meet it at all. It never can. We can, you and I talking together and started our, we're never going to get there. We can't get there because it already is. Everything. But it isn't this, it, you know, it isn't everything and nothing. It isn't this. It just is. Yeah. And isn't, you know, it's impossible. Don't you start using words, you're lost. Anyway, it's good fun talking to you. Yeah, but that is, but you see, I think um, for, uh, I mean, it, I can't ever be heard. To, you, what you want to hear is liberation. Is yeah. The person will skip by. What I was saying was in the first few moments or as good as it gets when you say it's just this or whatever, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's as good as it gets, and that's already yeah. gone too far. Oh, that's yeah, I agree. What, with what you. I mean, and so I would have always had the impression that it is, you know, you'd look to the words liberation, and the words liberation mm. is where you go, okay, well, there can, there's something that can be got. Yeah. But you then know, you then, would always start with something like, yeah. it's just this, yeah. but yeah. we can share it together. Yeah. But then when directly people start talking about something like liberation, because the people watching this uh, can be looking for something called liberation, I then have to say there is no such thing as liberation. There's no such thing as anything. Liberation seeking, separation, there isn't, they aren't real. They just appear to be, they appear to happen. The idea of liberation is something that happens in the head. And the feeling of being separate is something that seems to happen, but none of it is real. It's just an appearance. It is nothing appearing as that. Yeah. So that's why words, words are hopeless. But that's the nearest we can get to. Well, it's touching. See, but I think then, as a kid, as you see, I mean, you uh, you would talk about as a kid. But I think it's embedded in everything where somebody's here then the somebody over there definitely knows something ah, and yeah. you know you know and that seems to be the whereas cluelessness or not knowing or complete unknowing is, is, that's not that's not that's not sufficient it has to be well, something well it doesn't have to be something because at the moment you're talking to unknowing yeah there isn't someone here that knows anything there isn't someone here there isn't anyone there's only nothing. And there's only nothing there yeah. doing an interview, but it may think that it is a someone that has to know something. Yeah. Um, it could be the case that that might have fallen away, the interviewer idea and that, but I can't say that that's happened. I can't say no. anything. No. And no. I suppose I, what I'm getting at, um, in a way, is this? I, I remember talking to Claire at one point, and she was talking to, about somebody I was talking about, and she said, "Why don't they just stop talking?" And I was kind of at the time going, 
Yeah. And it was kind of, the more words that are used, it appears for a person that something is known. But this is yeah. utter emptiness, yeah. utter unknowing. And But even that like sounds like it's a thing. You could well, even... Absolutely. Yeah, the, 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 the separate individual will always turn everything into a something. Even non-duality is thought of in the world, in the world of seeking, as an actual something. And if you hear people talking about non-duality, they talk about it as though it's a state you can learn or experience. And it absolutely isn't. But yeah. that's always going to go on. So all the time you've got a seeking energy, it's always going to ask a question and expect an answer. But the problem is it expects an answer from someone that knows the answer. Whereas actually when it talks to this in the open secret setting, when it talks to me or the apparent me, it's talking to unknowing. And what happens is the question comes out from the person and the response comes out of nothing. It just comes out of nothing. There isn't someone who's working out a response. It just yeah. comes out and it's yeah. like that. Yeah. Somebody says, da, 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 and this goes, yeah. it doesn't yeah. work in. You know. Yeah. And that is apparent in a way that it's not like, you're, just give me a second, I need to refer to my notes. Or yeah. a need. To, it, it absolutely flows out. And that energy yeah. was always... I suppose it's unique, like I would have found it extremely frustrating. Like I was only saying to somebody, I heard a video of you in the last few weeks and obviously I had listened to this thing for a long time, but it was never heard. But no, really. When let's, when, the, when, and this is bullshit too, when I, when I heard it, it was like I'd never, ever, ever heard it. And like oh, I, really? I, I went to see you a long, long time ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When, and, um, Yeah, it just that, just the, um, yeah, it's a killer, you see, because I would say to myself, I'm, <laughs> I really wish that um, this interview would have been accepted a few months ago, because then <laughs> I would have had loads of questions to ask. Oh, yeah, right, 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 okay. Do you know what I'm They've saying? Fallen away. What's that? They've all fallen away. Well, this is gone, like. <laughs> it's gone, like. I'm sorry. It's, uh, and it's gone, like, going, okay, like, write a few, a few questions down. But absolutely wonderfully pointless. Yeah, it is. I've just been talking to a guy on the phone, and all of this, that's what happened to him. He sort of, he started talking to me as though he was going to ask questions. And then he just died on the phone. And, and all there was were long silences. It was rather sweet, really. Yeah. But there was nothing, there's nothing, you know, there so, comes a point when you, they suddenly realise there is nothing to ask. And to ask, it's almost as though to ask, this isn't very good for this interview. No, but, no. So to ask a question is, is ridiculous, in a way. But also the asking might happen. It just doesn't seem to be. I mean, it seems to be the case where that's kind of ended like a 360 degree uh, turn back to just yeah. exactly the same fucking ass wipe, but yeah. just there's no negotiating with everything and anything. No, no. And that's the difference with, with the, something that's a communication out of, out of nothing really, which is what this is. Non-duality, there's no such thing as non-duality. It's a term, which, which it's just a terminology, which points to the mystery of there being nothing and everything simultaneously. So this is, this is indescribable and can't be worked out. So there's no, there can't be any, and this is the difference with this sort of communication. And if you were talking to a teacher of meditation or self-inquiry, there would be a lot of questions about method and process and what happens, and they would give you lots of answers. There are people in self-inquiry who are just full of questions and answers all the time, and you, you plug into them on YouTube and you see them constantly answering questions yeah. because they're in that world of, you know, of inquiry and a response. But it's not a response. Not a response out of nothing, it's a response out of a library of knowledge. 
Yeah, it's somebody who, and that's the kind of magneticism of a teacher and a student. They they yeah. feed they feed each other. And when yeah. you see when there's but, someone though, even if it's nothing, I mean at least they're not seen, and that is the freedom. And that was always very confronting. I remember sitting opposite you going, He's not fucking pandering to me. You know, he doesn't give a shit. But he no. does it's not even he doesn't give a shit. That's not correct. No, I'm not but, seen. There's not this there's not this controlling center point. And that's the no. That is the liberation. It's in yeah. itself that's liberating for Absolutely. a person, we'd say for a moment. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's nothing in here that's trying to do a deal or trying to convince anybody of anything. There's nothing in here at all. Yeah. So nothing matters. So there's no agenda, there's no intention that anything should happen of any value at all. Yeah. That's, that's very confronting for somebody who wants something. It is, or, or the, the freedom is also, you see, when I went, to, I, and I said this before, the very first time when I heard this, I came home and I said to myself, That's, this is bullshit. Mm. And then whatever happened, I thought, oh, actually, you know, that's unconditional, uh, not using the word love, but that's, it's, it's just utter openness. Yeah, and it's I, the freedom. I, I, yeah. complete freedom. Yeah. Complete freedom, yeah. Yeah. Beyond any kind of knowing or objects or fucking no. things of wisdom. Wisdom. No, God, no. Wisdom. wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I, like I had that sense at one stage through this fucking seeking game that wisdom or wisdom. But then the idea of wisdom, each wisdom for eternity, each knowing that this is knowable. Actually, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Yeah. If, that's, if that's what's happening, that's what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you see, I actually think that sometimes you go like this, right? Yeah. But obviously, you can't go. You just couldn't start your meetings going. <laughs> <laughs> but that's. I mean, you can't say anything is anything. But that's. It's the kind of the surprise. Yeah. The what the fuck, Tony? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And the it's not thing, even a what the fuck. Sorry, go on. No. The other thing I used to do is this. Uh, yeah. quite I don't do it so much now, but when I say all there is is aliveness, and I go like that, as though that, that's aliveness, you know. So it's yeah. funny how those things happen. Yeah. yeah. They don't mean anything. No, nothing does. The, um, can I ask you about. Um, Obviously, when everything is real and you're a, a person in the world, the table's real and what I think yeah. is real and everything is real. Now, yeah. say when because there's I a, because I am, because I am here yeah. and at the source of everything, the, the, the plug in the sink almost. Yeah. And um, but when that's gone, the, the nothing changes. I suppose I'd like to hear your perspective on that. I was talking to a guy who's been to my meetings for a few years now, yeah. and he's in India, and, uh, and he just recently has died, if you know okay. what I mean. Yes. It's all yeah. And it was instant. Yes. Absolutely instant. And he was trying to describe to me what that was like, and he said to me, I, Tony, I realise that I can't describe it to you, and yet you've been telling me this for years, and mm. I couldn't hear it. And it's indescribable to anyone because it isn't that there is still someone there that is now uh, freedom or liberation. It is that there is no one and all there is, is what seems to be happening. Yeah. And there is nobody who knows that, that that is happening. There is just what's happening and that's all there is. So it's, yeah. an, it's an indescribable thing. It's not, there's no longer a center or a person who is experiencing anything, there's no longer any experiencing, no longer any knowing. All there is, is what there is, and that can't be described. But strangely enough, it's completely simple and obvious. Mm. But it's not, it's only simple and obvious to no one. Yeah. And that's the, a years ago you would have said, it's not that it's complicated or whatever, it's impossible. When there's yeah. someone, oh. It's yeah. impossible, 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 because there's nobody that recognizes it. And it's a killer. Yeah. yeah. It's a killer That's in the sense that you can't, 
I used to love the idea of seeing this communication in action and think in my mind going, this is amazing. Look at this for free, uh, you know, this big communication. But it's, That's why, to a certain extent, it's difficult for you or anybody interviewing in this sense because actually there isn't any way to get to. No. As an interviewer, you might, you know, that's your profession and so on, and you might be thinking, well, what's coming up next? What can I think of next that's stimulating and interesting? But in a sort of way, no. it's, it can't be like this in this setting, in this, in this uh, per per perception. There is no, there isn't any way to get to. There aren't any exciting and amazing questions to ask, no. which will bring a result. Yeah, that's the, that's the difficulty with it. It's, it's indefinable. It's indefinable. It can't be grasped. It never can. And yet, it's still in the grasping. And so, if a question appears, like I mean, the sense yeah. that I, I would have is uh, the sense that I would have that everything is being done. This has been done. And that's been done. And there's no source to anything that's no. appearing. And this is emptiness talking to emptiness. But that sounds okay. like okay. the moment somebody says something like this, it appears like it is known, but it's not known. And that's the yeah. impossibility. And yeah. that's the killer. Absolutely. And that's the beginning and end of everything. And yeah. perhaps for me, for, for, for me, uh, the idea of even saying a, a fucking tiny word appears for your secret that something is known. But then, yeah. if you say nothing, silence is objectified. So look, it's going to words are going to come out or not going to come out. And oh that yeah, that's happened. okay. Yeah. When the end, let's say, when an end game happened, I was in the middle of writing down something, and it was kind of like, and and any realization is only apparent when there's no one. It has to be only apparent. Oh and yes, is that, is that fair? Is is that a, absolutely? A, there is only apparency. Yeah. There's only nothing appearing as whatever it seems to be have but it is only apparent there's nothing that's real at all in any way yeah. can't be ah. yeah. Yeah. but i mean this guy couldn't even can't describe to me he said i can't describe to you what this is and i know why you have never been able to describe to anybody else what this is because it's completely incomprehensible. It's unknowable. It can't be, if it could be described, it could be taught or whatever. And it can't yeah. be. It would and be banned by language. It would be banned by language yeah. and it could be held when it's uncontainable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's interesting, uh, during being an interviewer and whatever, doing interviews, I, like uh, from time to time, I would go talk, or somebody would suggest, oh, go talk to this such and such. And I'd always have a well, feeling about, but then there was one in particular that I went to and I said, look, um, would you be interested in having a podcast about this? And they said, basically, um, I already talk too much about this. That was the no, first right. thing. Uh, that was the first thing I thought was interesting. Then when I clicked onto the site, it said something like, I offer one-on-one -on -one therapy sessions and I also talk about non-duality. And I thought it was always obvious that nobody was talking and it was just free fall. So there was no tiredness yeah. with oh god, no. only talking. What I'm describing is the difference when something is known. Sure, I have to refer, and of course it's tiring. I have to refer to my bank of knowledge about this non-duality thing. There's an effort. It's an effort. It's an effort. Yeah. it's an effort and there's an intention and that can be very tiring. Yeah. What, what happens here is completely, um, it can't, there, there's no tiredness. I can go on and on day and night talking about this or responding about yeah. this. But it's completely effortless because uh, it has to be, well, it doesn't have to be, but it is, because it isn't trying to get anywhere. It has no intention. Yeah. So there's not a, a goal. There's no goal. Yeah. Yeah, it's the most, po I remember that. <laughs> it's the most pointless meeting that you can find in Dublin, yeah, is what you said. <laughs> um, but it still is like, Obviously, because of the sharing in the meetings, you, you would talk for 20 minutes. 
let's say, uh, and you would give a description of an apparent reality, but it is still, that's, that's a story that you're it's telling. That's a story. Yeah, yeah I'm a telling story. a story. Yeah. Because it, in a way for me to tell the story of the me and how it develops is the nearest you can get to some sort of something that is established and recognised in people's minds. Yeah. It can disturb the whole way they have thought about themselves, but it is a way of establishing what could be uh, understood by the by the seeker. Yeah. So I always, I always start more or less in the same way, telling a story. Yeah. And I, um... and then destroying it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that, the whole thing about this message is it's compassion. It's the only compassion there is, and it destroys the illusion of separation. So I set up what seems to happen to people and then and then destroy it. Yeah. I don't do that on purpose. But that's what seems to happen. So it's possible at the end of a meeting, people will have some understanding of the way in which separation uh, comes about. And it's also possible that they'll leave the room with absolutely nothing. And that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I, and that, in a way, uh, in the game of becoming, which is the predominant life, almost appearing, even though, you know, the, the world, we call it, appears to market itself in terms of becoming yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And this That's is the only good. place you're not seen, but it's, that can be heard as, well, he's a rude, he's rude, or yeah, yeah. it could be, you're, you're coming into this with this big bag of stories of life, of me and fucking everything, and, you really don't want to keep that, even though you, there's that feeling. And then when you come in, because the backpack of all the stories that you're carrying <laughs> around are just kind of are just kind of going, all right, <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah. yeah, just nothing, no pandering whatsoever. And it, oh no, no, yeah. there wouldn't be any. Because don't be, the other part about this is that people don't realise is that as far as the communicator is concerned. There isn't anybody in the room. Yeah. The, the whole idea of separation is only an appearance and there's just bodies sitting in the room and it may be that they hold on to the idea that they are real individuals but as far as the communicator is concerned there isn't anyone and so there's no concern about anyone because there isn't anyone so there's no idea of pleasing or satisfying or anything like that that simply just come out it's a wonderful it's a it's a gorgeous freedom yeah it is yeah it can be seen as uncaring unempathetic or whatever but actually what it is is okay just response yeah, yeah. it's just response nobody's doing the allowing see that's the killer it's just uh, allows all open yeah. to all yeah um i was watching do you ever watch the would you watch netflix the, the, yeah do you know the crown? There's the, the crown yeah. design, which I actually love. And uh, yeah, I think it's very well done. It's beautifully written. It is beautifully written. Uh, but there's a scene in it with the whole, with the, um, I think Prince Charles has been crowned as Wales and, and he was wearing all the clothes and the, and the hat and the spire, which I think it might be, uh, uh, and everything was so pomp and the ceremony of it all, you know, and everybody there was it's really serious mm. and, and it's kind of it is spectacular yeah that, that that is everything yeah do you know what i mean by that now that yeah. is in every in the workplaces in the church it's not just the crown it's the symbology it's okay and the, the, oh. <laughs> there's no turning to go this is just a house of cards the whole thing like it's, to it's totally about significance, isn't it? The importance and significance of, of what's happening. This yeah. is much more important than anything else in the world. It's yeah. amazing. Meaning. This yeah. has to mean something. Mm. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, the individual lives on and, and feeds on meaning and purpose. That's what his yeah. whole food is. It's food. It's survival, it yeah. When it comes to a meeting where, which even in the story, it's pointed out that the whole story is completely without meaning or purpose. That, most people don't hear that. 
No. I sometimes now say it three times so that people let me. <laughs> yeah, I because because people don't want to hear that there's no meaning or purpose in their life. Their lives are important for them. Yeah. And they're coming there. They can be destroyed. Uh, uh, that, um, like you would have said it throughout the years, that can have different degrees. Like that guy on the phone, obviously it, you said it just was over. Yeah. But this, and now I'm entering into a story here, but it can be extraordinarily confronting when this is heard, that all the anchors that are real of time and space and you and me and mammy and all of those things, that everything is gone. Even, even everything is gone. Even yeah, the word right. everything is gone. Yeah. It's not glamorous it's huge, or pretty. It's, or, huge, it's a huge investment people put into their lives. You know, they've grown up and put an investment into their lives having meaning and purpose. And then they come to a meeting where that can suddenly be completely exploded, that whole idea. All their values are lost, can be lost. And of course, the greatest thing of all is it's the place where all our hopes and dreams can simply die. That's awful. It's a, it's a to, it's an awful message. It's the worst. Really, yeah, really absolutely really. pointless. <laughs> it can't be shared. And destructive. Either. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, well, you see, it is. That's the beauty of it. But beauty makes it something. Then it's not really beautiful. Yeah. But it's just fucking yeah. free. It's it is what, what it, it is. is. Yeah. yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. It's amazing that um, really anybody would go to hear anything. But then you see, that's because everything has been done, really. I mean, yeah, everything Claire, has been done. What's that? We don't, Claire and I don't know why anybody comes. <laughs> we, no, really, honest, we don't no. know why anybody comes at all, because yeah. it's, because it's so, um, it just is destructive in, in a sense. It destroys the whole uh, you know, value of that person's, or that apparent person's life. The other thing is that Claire and I are also surprised that the whole world doesn't come because it's so stunning. Yeah. But it never will. Well, that's the game, though. That's like at that ceremony that, you know, everybody could just, everybody could go and then maybe the show continues. I don't know, but everybody could, but I don't know anything about anything like that. Yeah. This mm. idea, you see, it's there. It, separation isn't real anyway. It isn't. There no, isn't. No. A, yeah. There isn't anything that's real. Separation, yeah. uh, boundlessness, contracted energy. None of it's real. It's simply nothing. It is emptiness. It's all emptiness. What you're looking at, and what I'm looking at, is emptiness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're off assholes, really. <laughs> Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> and and you know we're doing this right now. You're you've set up an interview and in yeah. in your professional mind that interview should have a certain shape and also have a certain length to be successful. Mm. But that, that, that's also ridiculous. Yeah. There's no need for it to be a certain form and a certain length to be successful. Well, there's no need for it to be successful. No. You know, the whole world is so into success and failure that it totally invests everything it does into those ideas. But actually, there's yeah. no reason why we shouldn't just switch to the, turn the switch off right now. Yeah, well, it's the energy. Is, it is coming to that anyway. It's apparent, which is like that. <laughs> but um, I, I was going to, what was I going to say to you there? Um, the, I, I think as well, that's, I mean, obviously this wasn't being done, but that was, that's the freedom of um, this sort of agendalist thing. And the, the recognition, sure, this is absolutely pointless. This, yeah, this meeting is absolutely everything. pointless. There is no this is absolutely pointless, and this is pointless, and it's for, but it's still, I suppose, it's not still anything, 
I, you can't you can't stop it. You can't stop doing it, and neither can I. It's what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But all this, all the time, there's a point, and there's somebody who's invested in what's happening for a reason, yeah. to have a good experience. You know, uh, yeah. somebody who's got an investment in this going on or happening or being successful are looking for a good experience. When that, when the experiencer is no more, it, this is the same. If you turn the switch off now, I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. It's all the same thing. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. make any difference. Having a cup of tea downstairs or sitting here talking to you is is all the same thing. There isn't one thing that has more value than another. Yeah. Because it's simply an appearance. Yeah, I was in. I was in. Um, doing. Uh, <laughs> Rats, I had, I had rats in a place I have in town. Rats come in, right? Oh, wow. you, know, you know rats, little furry fellas? I had to go wow. and I was in there trying to, I'm not giving you all the, the detail of it. It's obviously um, not pleasant, but it's so obvious that it's just what's happening. Mm. And there might be revulsion. <laughs> well, that's what's happening it was, too. But it was still, oh, I, I, but it's still, Obvious that this is or oh, this is rats are happening now. That's what's happening now. Rats <laughs> and revulsion. And yeah, revulsion. And rev oh, absolutely, fucking revulsion and everything got to do with it. But then, in the past, I might uh, in the past there would be a big story about oh rats and oh that's terrible. They're terrible. But it's, this is everything, including rats. <laughs> I'm joking no. by even saying including, but everything is everything. And nothing. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the um, the start and end of all stories is nothing. Totally. It's the, it's the empty wonder. That's what this is. Yeah. yeah. It's the end of something that was never happening. It's unreal, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should get that cup of tea. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Parsons. Okay. You're, you're, a you're, you're a legend. Mr. Mr. Parsons. <laughs> you're getting on form. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, look, I really appreciate you taking the time and whatever. Okay. Just fucking. I do don't it. have any time, but it's. Uh, good to do. That's look. I could just go, but uh, you know, I'm saying to you that it was just. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Get the okay. jazz hands there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. And thank you, Claire. Yeah, I will. Well, we know. We know. There'd be nothing happening. There is nothing happening, but there'd be nothing happening if it wasn't for Claire. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we know that. Thank you, Claire. I okay. saw your shadow. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hi, if you like the conversation that I just had and you'd like more, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you.